Hi everyone, it's Lydia here at Lydia's Leisure Lace Stitching. Welcome to my 16th floss tube video. If you're new here, this is a channel about my cross stitching and welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, it's been about six months since my last video, so we've got a lot of catching up to do. I'm not sure if I went over in my last video my plans for the year. Uh, because my last video was in November, not really the time when we usually make new plans videos, usually they're more December, early January. And I could have sworn I made a video at the end of the year with my plans, but I'm not seeing it, so maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Uh, so yeah, so today I'm going to show you pretty much a whip parade. I've got six projects, and I've worked on all of them so far this year. Uh, yeah, so let's just dive right into it. I guess we'll start with the smallest ones and work our way up. So the first one I have to show you is a gingerbread train from Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, and I'll put in a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished and what it looked like at the end of last year. And here it is now. So at the end of last year, I just had um, part of the border done. Um, I finished the border, added the little red berries in. I started on the snowflakes and worked my down way down to the beginning of the train. And I'm kind of going with the theme here of Christmas and working on it, or trying to work on it, on the 25th of every month. So, so far this year, let's see, it's the 5th. Uh, month of the year. I've worked on it four days this year uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, in other exciting news, I'm going to StitchCon. Yay! I've been waiting for like two years to go to StitchCon thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. They didn't have it last year. Um, so I'm going this year and I'm pretty sure I'm going to take this project with me because it has large blocks of colors. So I'm anticipating it'll be easier to work on um, while I'm talking to people and seeing people around. Um, it's my first cross-stitching convention, uh, first cross-stitch retreat, so um, if you see me say hello. I do have some social anxiety, so it's pretty typical for me to be quiet. So if you see me say hello, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just quiet. and. I'll try to engage and be a little bit more of a people person while I'm there. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, second one, we'll go with, uh, this is Simplicity by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I'll put in what it'll look like and what it looked like at the end of last year. Um, and here it is now. Uh, so at the end of last year, I had the two small daisies. I've added in another daisy and gotten a good chunk of the bird done. Isn't he turning out so well? I just love him. I believe it's a chickadee. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how he's turning out. And I think I've worked on him three days this year. It's probably the project that's gotten the least amount of time. I really love it. Um, so I would like to work on it more, but you know, there's just only so much time in the day. Um, yeah, and this one is on 25 count. I think it's 25 count Confederate gray or pearl gray. Yeah, um, I got it at the one stitchy store I've ever been to. So that's another exciting thing about going to StitchCon is Hopefully I'll get to go to Keepsakes or see their trunk show and look at fabrics in real life. I really like the bluish gray fabrics. Uh, as you can tell, um, the uh, gingerbread train is on 18 count blue Ada. Um, yeah, so that's two projects. The third project here is, I call it uh, Daisy Gnomes. It's um, from an Italian designer on Etsy. I think it's called Cor Ibaticor. Uh, obviously, I'm 
probably pronounce that pretty badly, but i um, trying my best here. And I'll put in a picture of what it looked like at the end of last year and what it'll look like when it's finished. And here it is now. So uh, la last year I just started on the brown of the tree here. Um, I finished this tree with all of its leaves and flowers and I've started on the grass and the daisies at the bottom. Uh, again, I think I've worked on this for five days this year and I'm really happy with the amount of progress I've gotten in that time. I had a housewarming party yesterday for my house. Um, we've been here about a year, but now since everyone's fully vaccinated, we can finally all get together. I kind of thought it'd be nice to have this one finished before the housewarming party and up on the wall. Obviously it's not there. It's probably only about 40% completed, um, but that did give me a little bit of a push to work on it extensively on the days that I did work on it. So those are all three of my non full coverage pieces. And then I have three full coverage pieces because I'm crazy like that. Um, so this one is Coral City by Ciro Marchetti and it has been charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'll put in a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished and what it looked like last time I was working on it. And see, so here we are right now. So I started this piece in 2019 uh, when I went to Australia and visited the Great Barrier Reef. And my plan for it at that time was to do one page a year until I finish um, my older full coverage whip. So in 2019 I did a page and in 2020 I did a page. And my goal on it this year is to do another page. So checking in on that, my, poll, my goal is a page which is about 5,500 stitches. I've done 1,200 stitches this year uh, up here in this uh, corner and that is 22% of the goal. Uh, May being the fifth of 12 months is, I calculated the other day, about 40% of the way through the year. So I'm not exactly on track uh, with my goal for this one, but I think I can definitely get that goal accomplished this year. So that's Coral City. And then this next full coverage piece is um, Fantastic Lodge Mushroom and it is also charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and I can't remember the designer off the top of my head right now. Um, and this one I started last year in 2020 on Leap Day, so February 29th. And here it is now. Uh, last year on this one, I did approximately 11,000 stitches. And this year I set my goal to be, um, to get to the 10% point. So I will say uh, that's 10% of the stitched area. Um, I've cut off the top row of pages and I haven't stitched them. I left space up here at the top of the fabric in case when I'm done, I decide I feel like I need it and I can add it back in. Um, but yeah, my goal for this year is just 10% of the stitched area, which is minus that top row of pages. So 10% of the stitched area is 14,000 stitches. Last year, like I said, I did 11,000 stitches. Uh, and so far this year, I've done 2,000. Uh, and that's 14% of my yearly goal. Um, this one, I was really surprised that I did 11,000 stitches last year. I was planning on having it be the same goal as Coral City of just one page a year until I can make it more of a focus piece, but I really fell in love with it last year and just ran with it. Uh, this year, I'm not loving it so much. It's on 28 count mushroom lugana, um, and I'm stitching it one over one. Uh, both of my other full coverage pieces are on 18 count Eda, 
And right now, that stitching is just appealing more to me. Um, as you can see, I kind of started uh, doing this one in diagonal rows. Uh, so I was just filling in the diagonals and I was going stitch by stitch. And that's pretty meticulous and a lot of uh, changing of the needles and it takes a long time. So I recently tried um, stitching it more like the other full coverage pieces where I stitch a color and I just follow where the color goes. When I run out of the string, I pick a new color and start doing that one, working my way um, kind of down. So this first page is finished and the second page is probably 90% finished. Um, I just have to do some work in the corner down here to fill out that page. So yeah, I'm thinking 14,000 stitches was probably too high of a goal for me this year. And if I can just finish page two, I think that'll be my new goal and I'll be happy with that. Um, because it's not exactly a focus piece for the year and I'll still be ahead of my original goal of one page per year because I'll finish those two pages and then this is the third page. It's probably 50% done. And this other page down here below page one, it also has a large percentage done. So behind on my yearly goal, ahead of my long-term gain. Um, I'll take ahead of the long-term gain if I want to look at it like that instead. Okie dokie. And then uh, the oldest whip I have and my largest whip, well, not really my largest, it's about the same finish size as Coral City, but the whip that I had the most progress in uh, is A Place of Her Own, and this is by James Christensen, and it is also chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs, and I'll put in a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished, and what it looked like at the end of last year. Oh no, I won't be able to get it all in at once. Let's see. So there's half of it. Pan over. Can't see what I'm doing. There's the other half. So last year I was about 47% of the way through. Um, I finished up this page over here the end of January. I've moved on to the next row of pages down here. I believe I have three pages done on this row. I'm working on the fourth page of this row, probably about 50% of the way through that. Here it is. A lot of this book, uh, this brown book has been filled in this year. Down at the bottom, that circle is like the cover of another book. It's going pretty well. It's nice in the books. They have less confetti than say like the green cushion over here that has a lot of confetti in it. So the books are a little bit of a nice change up. For this one, last year I did 46,000 stitches. My goal for this year is to do 48,000 stitches, which is just basically uh, the 10 pages of this fourth row of pages. So complete the fourth row of pages, 48,000 stitches. Uh, so far this year, I've got 17,400 stitches in, which is 36% of my goal. So if I'm thinking I should be about the 40% of my goal point, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, this is the one that I stitch on the most. Uh, probably stitch on it 20 days out of the month. So it really eats up a lot of my time, but I guess it is my focus piece until I get it finished, which if I can do a row of pages every year, I've got three and a half rows of pages left, so should be about another three or four years to finish on this one. So that is all of my whips. A um, little bit of a life update. Uh, this year I started a master's program in software engineering. I just finished up my first semester of that 
and I was planning on taking summer classes but now no thank you I'm ready for a break so I'll be taking a break over the summer I'm still working full-time so not like a complete holiday but I do have some vacation time coming up soon uh, and some of that will be spent at StitchCon Weekend A. So like I mentioned earlier, if you're there and you see me, say hello. I'd love to meet all of you. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway, kind of. Um, so if you see me at StitchCon and you want to enter, give me your uh, email address. And I'll be looking at uh, Hade wish lists. Wish lists. Um, so if you have a Hade wish list and you'd like the chance to win something off of it, um, come up and talk to me, give me your email address so I can look up your wish list, and I'll be picking a random winner. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Um, let's see, it's the, it's the middle of May now, so I'll probably come back after StitchCon and give an update about how StitchCon went and an update on what I've done in the past month between now and then. So keep on stitching. I hope you are all staying safe and well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.